In this video we will learn about the scope of economics. Earlier, the scope of economics was limited to the utilization of scarce resources to meet the needs and wants of people and society. Over the years, the scope of economics has been broadened to many areas. Make sure to watch the full lecture to generate a more clear concept on these areas of economics. The scope of economics ranges from microeconomics and macroeconomics to international economics, public finance, welfare economics, health economics, environmental economics, and finally, urban and rural economics. Let's start with microeconomics first, this is considered to be basic economics. Microeconomics may be defined as that branch of economic analysis which studies the economic behavior of the individual unit, maybe a person, a particular household, or a particular firm. Number 2. Macroeconomics. Macroeconomics may be defined as that branch of economic analysis which studies the behavior of not one particular unit, but of all the units combined together. Macroeconomics is a study in aggregates. Number 3. International economics. With the advent of globalization and cross-border integration, economic concepts are applied in order to conduct successful business dealings between countries. Economic concepts can be used in areas, such as foreign trade, exports and imports, foreign exchange, trading currency, the balance of payments, and balance of trade. Number 4. Public Finance. Economic concepts are also applied to assess the government's collection of taxes from the users of public goods as well as expenditure on production and distribution of these goods to the general public. Number 5. Welfare Economics. Economic theories and concepts are used to analyze the growth and development of low-income countries. This helps in improving the living standard of people in less developed and developing societies by understanding their needs for various facilities and utilities, such as health and education facilities and good working conditions. Number 6. Health Economics Economic concepts are also applicable in assessing the problems faced in promoting health in different countries. These concepts help the government in making decisions for defining appropriate health packages and programs for the general public. Number 7. Environmental Economics. Economic concepts are used to analyze the utilization and depletion of natural resources. Moreover, they are applied to study the impact of increasing ecological imbalance on society. And finally, number 8. Urban and Rural Economics. In urban development, the scope of economics covers the analysis of different urban issues such as crime, education, public transit, housing, and local government finance. On the other hand, in rural development, economics can be used to analyze the shortage of natural resources, obtain the best price for production, study constraints of productivity, adapt to climate change, etc. So, we have learned about the broader scope of economics. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.